fucking... Unless it's designated by a sign, like on a pole, on the sidewalk, crosswalk, but there are no markings on the street. Or was it one of those crosswalks that doesn't have the flashing... I don't know what they, I don't know the what they mean, lights. and I just, I wonder if they're, if he was cross, well, I don't know. I don't want, was he crossing, like, in the middle of a block? Not that it, it doesn't excuse any of this. I just, why, why write a story in a way that makes somebody go, hey, there's a detail here that's suddenly capturing most of my imagination. One detail that's not in this story either, it was 2.20 in the morning. Yes. So, uh, you, you've got to wonder, did alcohol play a part when it comes to the driver? Is that why there was a hit and run? I mean, I'm sure that they're questioning all of that. I think, the there's, timing. I think there's two layers here. The first layer is, you know, if you want to question what was he doing out at that time and how is he crossing the street, that's fine. Once he's hit, then there's no debate about who's wrong or whatever. The driver who didn't stop is 100% the villain of the piece at that point. Let's get another news update from Jennifer Jones Lee. And then we'll continue and finish Handle on the News on KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The Border Patrol is taking a new threat from smugglers seriously. A sign hanging from a bridge near the Rio Grande in Mexico said bullets can also cross the river and the wall. It looks like Florida is driving the factor in the nation's largest surge of COVID-19 cases. Federal officials say 20% of all new cases are coming directly from Florida, which makes up less than 7% of the country's population. And some American diplomats and other government employees in Vienna have reported a number of health issues since the start of the year. About two dozen cases are said to be similar to the Havana syndrome that hit Americans serving in Cuba. We'll take a look at your drive on the 14 with EKFI in the sky next. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. If you've decided to sell your house, I know it is tempting to just get it listed as is or even take one of those cash out deals. But why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades will maximize its sale value? You mean like flipping our own home, Dean? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change, what to spend, and where to spend it. They'll manage everything for you and front all the costs. Yes, Revive fronts the cost. They get paid back from escrow, but the profit gained is all yours. How much profit? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. It's a no-brainer. Reach out to iloverevive.com today and see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. Staples Connect has great prices for everything on your back-to-school list. Now, Staples One Subject Notebooks are 25 cents each and Crayola 24-count crayons, two-pocket poly folders, and four-ounce Elmer's glue are 50 cents each. Offer ends 918, notebooks in-store only, limit 30. Prices may vary online. SoCal weather from KFI, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Has a range from the 70s at the coast to right around 100 inland. This report is brought to you by your staple stores. Let's check out this crash on the 14. You brought to your truck to slow you down now, coming out of action, so be prepared. But South 14 before on the belt. We've got half the freeway to block there. Pretty serious crash they're working on right now, trying to get it out of your way. But it's really starting to slow down. You can spend about an easy 15 minutes there, I think. After that kind of morning drive slow, we'll call it, down towards the uh, Newhall Pass, not too bad. Now, the one we've been spending a lot of time with is just joining us here over at Water Village, North 5, a little bit before the 2. Then center divider, left lane block has started out as not looking too serious, and it got real serious because the fire department had to come. So that North 5 is now a crawl. It really is much slower than you used to for this time in the morning. Coming up from the East LA Interchange, even southbound with all lanes open, everybody's looking at the red flesh and lights, you know, of that routine. Now, we had to look at the North 101. Coming up from the East LA Interchange to the four level, it's always kind of slow, but, well, at least it's moving that north of the four level. Things are good. Quick look at Orange County. Still checking pretty good, really. A little slow on the North it's 5. Okay, up out of Buena Park through the construction zone up to about Valley View. After that, things will improve. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. KFI gets you that faster. I'm Jeff Baugh. This report is sponsored by the Southern California BMW Centers. 
Now through August 2nd, during the BMW Ultimate Summer on Sales event, receive a credit of up to $3,500 on select models. See a Southern California BMW Center today for details, or visit SoCalBMW.com. Need a change in scenery? Why not make it happen right at home with a System Pavers Outdoor Makeover your family can enjoy for years? Joe Davis here, and one happy System Pavers customer. My wife and I just worked with the experts at System Pavers to completely transform on the way we use our backyard. We added a new patio, landscape lighting, and my favorite part, a barbecue island that was customized for all my grilling needs. During System Paper's Big Change Sales event, you too can upgrade your home and save big on a brand new view. Call 800 paid 4 right now to lock in exclusive low prices and special financing from driveways, synthetic turf, walkways, and more. System Paper's is ready to help make a change today. Get started by calling 800 paid 4 and save like never before during System Paver's Big Change Sales Event. That's 800 P A V E 004 or visit SystemPavers.com. All orders must be placed by July 31st and installation must commence within 60 days of sale. Financing is subject to third party approval. See website for full offer details. Contract is license 661575. Hey, Gary, how are things? Things are great, but I crushed my mortgage payment with owning without even leaving my couch. I got a no closing cost refi at a great low rate, and owning did it all in less than three weeks. It was easy. No must, no fuss. Be like Gary. Call Owning at 855-5-OWNING and crush your mortgage payment with today's 15-year fixed refi at 1.99% rate at APR with no closing costs. None. Zero. Even if you've refinanced recently, call 855-5-OWNING and let us crush your monthly payment even more. That's 855-5-OWNING or log on to owning.com. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. Call 823-852-6464 for terms and conditions. You can crush it, too, with a 15-year fixed 1.99% rate in APR with absolutely no closing costs. We're putting a summer twist on our weekly car giveaways. Join us every Thursday in July when we'll be giving away a 2021 Porsche Cayman or up to $100,000 in cash. Your chance to win happens every hour from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. Plus, we're giving away thousands of additional free play prizes during our 10 p.m. bonus drawing. Earn entries all month long and you could drive away in a brand new car or a pocket full of cash. Only at San Manuel Casino. All thrill. Details at SanManuel.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. Hey, if you want to sell your house or condo fast and easy, call Seller's Advantage to buy your home as is for cash. With Seller's Advantage, there are no realtor fees or commissions, no escrow fees, no repairs needed, no open houses, no strangers walking through your home. They buy your house or condo for cash. David and Doug from Seller's Advantage just bought a house from one of our KFI listeners. The owner wanted to sell the house. He met with a couple of real estate agents, and then he met with Seller's Advantage. He compared the numbers. Well, he went with Seller's Advantage. Smart KFI listener. He ended up with the same money. Same bottom line and no repairs, no headaches, no open houses, no hassle. He says working with Seller's Advantage was the easiest real estate transaction he has ever completed. If you're considering selling your home, call Seller's Advantage and see how much your home is worth. BRE number 01961658. Call now for your free quote. Call 888-321-AS-IS. Call 888-321-AS-IS. That's 888-321-AS-IS. Or go to sellersadvantage.com. Should kids and teens get the COVID-19 vaccine? Is it safe for my daughter? Have they been thoroughly tested? Will my grandson be okay if he gets vaccinated? He's still developing. The short answer to all these questions? Yes. The COVID-19 vaccine is proven to be safe and effective for ages 12 and up. Add a COVID-19 vaccine to your child's back-to-school checklist. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find a walk-in option or make an appointment. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. I don't even know how to describe crimes anymore. It's all changing so quickly. There are no crimes. Apparently shoplifting is okay. That was the trick. They got rid of the concept of crime and then announced that crime is way down. John and Ken. There you go. We gave it to. All we have left maybe is murder. I don't know. Uh, that's Teeter on KFI. KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Good morning. It's the Bill Handel Show. Bill is still out. If you want an update uh, on what's going on with Bill, you can find it on Twitter at Come On and Farce. That is where 
uh, updates will be posted by me as soon as they're available. Well, Britney Spears took to Twitter, actually it was Instagram, where she uh, went a little bit off. And she didn't say who she was going off on, but if you followed this story even a teeny tiny bit, you knew she was speaking straight to her sister. She said, there's nothing worse than when the people closest to you who never showed up for you post things in regard to your situation, whatever it may be, and speak righteously for support. There's nothing worse than that. How dare the people you love the most say anything at all? Did they even put out a hand to lift me up at the time again? How dare you make it public that now you care? Did you put your hand out when I was drowning? Again, no. If you're reading this, you know who you are. Saturday, the person who was not named fought back. And it was her sister mm -hmm. who said, basically said, uh, look, I'm stable, I'm good, I'm fine. And... Didn't, uh, she didn't address Brittany either, specifically, but she made it as though, like, um, I, I almost felt like she slapped back in a way of, everybody thinks that Brittany is kind of nutso, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm just doing my part, and Brittany, that whole rant that you went on yesterday was a little cray-cray. With, in other words, by not saying much, I think she said a lot. I wonder if her new lawyer is trying to get her to stop right now with the public proclamations and complaints. Because the answer, the answer to the situation does lay in the court. Which, uh, I understand the new attorney and the conservatorship will do a phone conference with the judge today. And it'll be interesting what comes out of that teleconference. Yeah. Hey, everybody's afraid of Amazon. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Here's the latest example. Uh, there's an app, and it's called Fake Spot, and it analyzes Amazon product reviews, and then tells you. It basically grades them for the level of fakeness of these reviews. Can you trust that these are real reviews from real people, or is it a bunch of bad fake reviews? It gives it an A through an F, and then. Let's say that you've, you've had it analyze something that you wanted and it came out an F. All these reviews are bogus, according to the app. It'll suggest other items on Amazon where the reviews are more trustworthy. Seems like a great customer service. Amazon does have an ongoing problem with fake reviews. Oh, yeah. They just do. Yeah. Well, Amazon didn't like this, so they went to Apple and said, we don't like this app. We think this app is a security risk, and Apple took the app off of the App Store. And it's not the first time that uh, Amazon has done something like this. There's, um, I think it's a, it's a, a browser plugin called Honey that will find for you any coupons or other discounts that apply to items that you might be thinking about buying on Amazon. And Amazon said, we don't like this either. It's a security, security risk. So, eh, and maybe there are some issues with the way these apps are interacting. Okay? But that should be between Amazon and the makers of the apps. And they're not going around... And like getting Apple, Apple should say, this app looks fine to us. If you have a problem, go after whoever's making the app and see if you can make your case. But instead, they do seem to be running around bullying people under the guise of security risks. And isn't it interesting that uh, the, the things they're going after are all things that either would let you buy things cheaper or highlight problems yeah. with being an Amazon shopper. I'm upset with Amazon over something that happened yesterday. I read this story about Amazon adding the voices of Shaquille O'Neal and Melissa McCarthy to Shmamexa. I won't say it so it doesn't set off mm -hmm. people's thingies. But I swear I could be sitting on an iceberg and Shaquille O'Neal could tell me he has ice to sell me for five bucks and I would hand Shaquille O'Neal five oh. bucks because... <laughs> he could sell me anything, and I, the man just makes me happy. Well, the first thing that he would sell you for five bucks is to purchase... That's where I... Having his voice as part of your Shmamexa 
Yes. Uh, device. So I said, Shmamexa introduced me to Shaq, because that's the new voice. Shaq comes on, he's like, hey, how's it going? He makes these funny little things. And then Alexa says, uh, oh, sorry, I said it. I said it. Uh, she says, hey, if you would like to hear more from Shaq, yeah. go to premium for four ninety nine a month. Mm -hmm. And he's not, forget it. Wait, four ninety nine a month? Yeah, four ninety nine. I'm sorry, four ninety nine each. One time sorry, purchase. One time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, look, it's not that much money to have a cool. This, when they when they brought Samuel L. Jackson to yeah, Shma Shma Shma, I mean, people loved it. I mean, they stole. Oh yeah. So it's good for them. I get though. You're not really mad. You're actually direct. No, you don't. I want love my it. shack for free. Oh, I see. You don't like having to pay five bucks. Or, oh my God. I know. So you know like what? Bring in your bring in your credit card statement tomorrow, <laughs> and I'm gonna go over it forensically and see how much money you spent your last statement cycle on Amazon stuff, and then and then after we lay that out in front of you like an intervention. Then we'll see if you're really that upset about paying four ninety nine to get Shaq's voice on Shmashmashma. That's handle on the news. Um, hey, when we come back, uh, the mask mandate is in place. Will people abide by it? No, Alex. We're going to need another seven o'clock topic. I'm kidding. There's a lot. There's a lot to say about this, including the um, tortured logic that is being used by some people to justify their opinion of the situations. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Talk without the tilt. KFI and KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Chase is up, masks on. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The LA County Department of Public Health says more than 1,000 cases of COVID-19 have been recorded for the 10th straight day. It says 1,635 cases were reported yesterday. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says the recent spike has been caused by a combination of the more infectious Delta variant and millions of people in the county who are still not vaccinated. Wayne will talk more about that in a second. The California Restaurant Association says some restaurants in SoCal have closed for good and others may never bounce back post-pandemic. It's true in Southern California and it's true around the state. Restaurants have a long road to recovery ahead of them. The association chair Akina Sham says restaurants are also struggling with supply chain issues, staffing and back rent. Sham says modified health orders affecting capabilities and capacity and operation could also play a role. The former co-owner of the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks has been accused of grand theft. Prosecutors say Brian Hines misappropriated at least $50,000 from the Westlake Rotary Club. The money was supposed to be used for a festival. Deputy DA Mark Leventhal told the Ventura County Star a warrant for Hines was issued by a judge, but Hines is not considered a flight risk, so deputies were not sent to arrest him. Leventhal says Hines' attorney reached out to the court, and Hines is scheduled to be arraigned this week. Hines co-owned the former country music club where a mass shooting in November of 2018 killed 12 people. Steve Gregory, KFI News. An alternate on the U.S. women's gymnastics team has tested positive for COVID-19 in a training camp in Japan. The unnamed gymnast is the first American to test positive at the Olympics. U.S. tennis player Coco Goff has also tested positive, so she won't be competing in the Games. In total, there are now more than 50 confirmed cases linked to the Games. An L.A.-based music exec has been identified as one of the 97 people killed in the collapse of a condominium building in Florida. Teresa Velasquez, who worked for Live Nation, had flown to Miami to visit her parents, who were also killed in the collapse. The largest fire in the U.S. burning in Oregon has prompted more evacuations. ABC's Chuck Siebertson says the fire has burned more than 60 homes and at least 100 outbuildings. Now burning an area about the size of Los Angeles, over 470 square miles. The bootleg fire in Oregon, just north of the California border. The weekend growth was fed by erratic winds, creating dangerous conditions for firefighters, says a fire operations chief. Evacuations have impacted about 2,000 people in a largely rural area of lakes and wildlife refugees. Refuges. 
Let's take a look at your drive now. Jeff Baugh is headed. Where are you heading, Jeff? Well, we're looking at the uh, 605 at the 60 interchange, we'll call it, and it's going to affect a couple of freeways. But good news, and it only happened about two minutes ago here. We were circling around it. The problem, this is an industry, by the way. The problem was West 60 past the 605. The right lane was blocked, and the South 605 to the West 60 there. The left lane of the transition was blocked. Kind of complicated, but we watched everything clear, so even the CHP officer is on uh, their way right now. So the West 60 a little bit slow coming down. The southbound 605 is slow and it's uh, uh, predictably slow all the way down to the 5. Just morning drive slow. A lot earlier if you were with us too. I mentioned some north 605 problems report of a fire. Uh, nothing to worry about. It's a pretty easy drive coming up from the 5. No problem there. Pacific Palisades, I just got word of a possible problem. Northbound PCH at Coastline. That's before you get up to Topanga. Might be slow coming out of the McClure Tunnel. We'll check that for you. At North 5, leaving Orange County, we found out not only was the, the construction done, but there was a problem north at Artesia Boulevard. That cleared. And finally, really good news for the Atwater Village. Now, North 5 before the 2. All lanes are open. Still slow coming up from the energy change. Injured in an accident, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com. KFI gets you there faster. I'm Jeff Barr. We all have wished at one time or another if we could just do two things at the same time. Well, if you're about to refinance or purchase a new home, here are two things you should absolutely do at the same time. Apply with at least two lenders. Mark Tice here from HMS Capital. Having two loans processed at the same time accomplishes a couple of important things. First, it maintains continuing competition for you, the customer, right up to the finish line. This results in a lower interest rate that saves you money. Second, it improves your chances of a successful transaction by eliminating the dependence on a single lender. HMS Capital requires no advance fees to apply, there's no appraisal fee, and no credit fee. With our razor sharp interest rates, we are completely confident that no matter how many lenders you apply with, we will win your business. So call HMS Capital today and let us show you how doing two things at once really can save you money. Call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698. 833-255-5698. That's 833-255-5698. Or go to HMSCapital.com. HMS Capital funding is the DBA of Golden Empire. HMS Capital is the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. The California Residential Mortgage Funding Act. License number 4130 Equal housing lender. 833-255-5698. Hi, it's Dr. Wendy Wells. You've probably heard the term quarantine 15, but the actual average American gained 29 pounds. If your weight got out of control, it's time to call West Medical and experience the Da Vinci X. This ultra-minimally invasive robotic surgical system gives hyper-precision to weight loss surgery and a faster recovery, and it's covered by most PPO insurance. Set up a free same-day phone consult today. Call 1-800-WESTMED or visit westmedical.com. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WESTMEDICAL. Depending on procedures selected and adhere to the program. Your KFI financial report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 729, S&T down 77, Nasdaq down 234, gold is 1813 an ounce, and oil is 6807 a barrel. The KFI Money Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm, now offering virtual security consultations using your mobile phone. Visit bayalarm.com to get protected today. Hardly cloudy today with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs will range from the 70s at the beaches, 80s for Metro LA and OC, upper 90s to right around 100 for the valleys in the IE. 67 right now in Laguna Niguel, 68 in Lake Forest, 70 in Echo Park, 71 in Santa Clarita. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. like an update on uh, what's going on with him, you can find it on Twitter at Come On and Farce. Well, we're going to talk about this uh, indoor mask mandate in L.A. County, but the spread of the Delta variant appears to already be hammering the economy. Well, not really the economy, but the stock market. Jen? Down 720. And the analysts are all saying it's because of concerns Fears about of yeah. the Delta variant. Yes. And remember, I said it's not the economy. The stock market is not the economy. Right. It's a, it's a different totally thing. Totally different ballgame. Um, okay. So L.A. County is now back under an indoor mask mandate. You go to the store, the gym, 
If you go to a restaurant while you are not actively eating and drinking, it's, and even in your, your place of work, uh, if, if it's indoors, it's if you're a lifeguard at the beach, you don't have to wear the mask at work, and you have to wear the mask. Uh, are people going to abide by it? Well, no, of course not. I mean, a lot of people won't. The last time when we had mask mandates, a lot of people didn't abide by it. And that was before all the stuff that's happened that has made it even more politically divisive and has sent people even farther into their bubbles of this is my reality regarding what's going on with this virus and, their, and this is my reality of what government should or shouldn't do. Um, so in other words, it's way worse now. I would expect there'll be fewer people uh, complying with the mask mandate. And depending on where you are, probably nothing's going to happen to you. Sheriff Villanueva already said he's not going to enforce it. I don't know what LAPD has said. Other, other cities within L.A. County, you know, your Santa Monica's, your Beverly Hills, your West Hollywood's, your Urbanks, your Glendale's. But I would guess there will be um, there will be lower compliance, and there will be a massive increase in the old the old schnoz hang. Those that's for people who don't have the guts to flat out refuse. They want to pass as maybe complying, but they don't really like it, so they hang that old schnoz over the top of that mask. And I don't think that anybody working at Trader Joe's or Blink Fitness or whatever has any appetite to confront people. So I think the the main mechanism of enforcement, if there's going to be one, will be the L.A. County Department of Health, who, if they get complaints about a business where masks are not being worn, might go out and might uh, issue a citation or something. I don't think we're going to see any heavy-duty action from them either because uh, you all know the story of Tinhorn Flats, the restaurant here in Burbank, right? Uh, this was a, a restaurant where the owners were like, F all of this safety protocols and everything. We're going to do what we want. And uh, became a cause celeb amongst people who don't like mask mandates and didn't like the shutdowns and everything. And found themselves cited tons and tons of time. The, the guy who was running it, which I think is the son of the owner who's not in the country right now, he was actually arrested multiple times. They shut off the, the power. They put padlocks on the doors, which were cut off. And finally, they erected a big fence around the whole building. And even that didn't really stop them. And it wasn't until the wife of the owner who I guess ends up actually owning the property, got them evicted. And then my point being, there were courts involved, there were all these things, but really at the end of the day, not that much happened to those people. I mean, if you're thinking like you're going to hear about people being sent to jail for six months because they wouldn't wear a mask in Walmart, I, that's not going to happen. So here's the interesting thing about it. I'm seeing a lot of reaction and a lot of um, attempts to justify however it is you feel about it. And there's an interesting angle here because you have some people who are pointing out things that seem pretty reasonable to me, which is this. All of the health officials are saying if you're vaccinated, you're very well protected. If you do get a breakthrough infection, you are very, very unlikely to have to go to the hospital or die. In fact, I think we're still waiting for any information about vaccinated people having to be hospitalized and dying from this virus. And if there are cases, they're very, very minuscule amount. Okay, so you know what it's like? It can feel like I did the right thing. I went and got vaccinated. Now I got to wear a mask again. And that's like when in school, one kid acts out and then the teacher makes everybody put their head on the desk. That's fine. So the lot, but the next logical step is then you would, you would want people to get vaccinated. 
In other words, let's get rid of the mask mandate. If we get enough people vaccinated, it'll slow the spread and we won't need a mask mandate. And so uh, shouldn't you be in favor of vaccine mandates, um, vaccine passports, giving people an incentive to get vaccinated and also having some kind of consequence to the people who choose not to. And clearly I'm exempting from this legitimate medical reasons and legitimate, long-held, sincere, religious objections to getting vaccines. But a lot of people don't. And so the thing that's scary is... Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, oh, oh.